Hi everyone, we're on the uh, LZ2 heading into Arrecife and we're going to take you Saturday morning shopping in Arrecife. So this is the main road that goes past the airport and um, from uh, Puerto del Carmen, Playa Blanca direction and uh, we're just going to show you where we would recommend parking so that you don't lose your car. So I'm going to come off at this uh, first exit in front of those uh, very nice apartments that we watched being built a few years ago. Need to get into the left-hand lane. And this is the Parque Maritimo in front of us and, and over to our right is the Cabildo. But here comes the beach. As you can see, it's a lovely sunny Saturday morning here in Arrecife. And uh, we're heading for the car park underneath the Hotel Gran, or the Gran Hotel. Um, on the grounds that if you park your car underneath that, you can see the hotel from pretty much everywhere in Arrecife, so you won't struggle to get back to it. Because the city's quite a, uh, a warren of back streets, narrow streets, alleyways and stuff like that, and it, it's relatively easy to get lost here, although these days with mobile phones, with GPS, it's... Uh, much easier than it used to be. I remember getting lost uh, in our early days in Lanzarote in uh, Arrecife and having no idea where uh, where I was going. Some people out walking along the promenade. So a couple of skateboarders there. And uh, here we are at the hotel. And it's a public car park. It's not just for the hotel. And uh, you literally just drop down into this parking, which is open 24 hours a day. Grab a ticket and pay at the end. So we've uh, emerged up these stairs, blinking in the sunlight. And... Uh, there's the hotel, so the landmark you're looking for. And we're going to head this way into town. So we walked around the corner, that's El Islote. Loads of fish here, as you can see. Someone's just caught one. <laughs> There's a sailing race going on today, as you can see. Fishermen tend to sell their uh, catches on that little stall there. This cafe may not be open yet, but normally is full of old boys playing dominoes. So only another few hundred meters before we get to Calle Real or Calle Leon y Castillo. So we'll head down there now. So we've walked as far as the bandstand. Looks like they're setting up for some kind of event here. Um, this bandstand building is beautiful, as you can see. Lots of events held around it. No idea what they're putting in there, though, or what it's, uh, what's going to be done with it. And where we're going is just uh, where you can see that cafe past the children's park. And uh, I'll just show you the the main street, Leoni Castillo, which we've got a couple of shops that we need to visit there. So 
Sorry about the jogging, I'm stepping out a bit. Obviously, I don't want to film the kids in the playground. See if they're noisy scooters. I always, I always think of noisy scooters when I'm in uh, town. We lived here for a year and uh, you'd hear the boys on their scooters every night razzing around the place. So this is the uh, start of Calle Real, Leon y Castillo. And uh, this section for about, I don't know, three, 400 meters is pedestrianized and then it becomes a road. And it goes all the way out of town as well as a road. And we're gonna head in there now and uh, see what's going on. Saturday morning is a traditional shopping day here in Arecife. And uh, you've got the street market here, around the corner where the church is, there's a food market as well. This is the original Cabildo building. La Casa Amaria, the yellow house. Everyone comes in, does their shopping and uh, enjoys coffees at the very many street cafes we have here. I'm trying to pan slowly. Someone said I was panning too fast last week. Apologies if I got that wrong again. You'll see people at this cafe eating churros and dipping them in the chocolate chocolate, drinking chocolate. These trees have all been trimmed, but they provide a lovely shade in midsummer. I'm going to show you some of the um, gastro type shops we have in this uh, little area here. We're looking at Som and Company. That's actually the shop for Bodega Stratus and they stock all the Stratus wines um, as well as food from Finca de Uga. And then I tried to do that, <laughs> that pans slowly for you. We're coming up to Algo Mas now, and we've got an article on the website talking about these shops, so you'll get all the detail on there if you search for gourmet shops. So Algo Mas has, uh, Elena works in here, and they have lots of great wines and interesting food. And the gift section as well. Uh, there's a multi-story car park here and uh, this is a small shopping centre called Spinana. And we're coming up now to Queso Project, which is run by Vicente and Anna and is just the best cheese shop in the world, in my humble opinion. They've got most incredible cheeses and they do bring them in from literally all over the world. Vicente takes cheeses from the Canaries and then trades them and sells them in return for cheese from Belgium, Scandinavia, France, the mainland of Spain, all over. And the last one I'm gonna show you it's coming up on the right. I'll just tuck in so I don't get run over. This is Territorio Sibarita, which is run by Isabel. And uh, they have probably the best selection of international wines on the island. Hola, Isabel, ¿qué tal? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So having done all our shopping, um, we're still in Calle Real, and uh, as so many people do here, we're gonna turn down this street, Calle Ginés de Castro y Alvarez. We call it Tapas Street. 
and I'll just walk you down it because it's just full of cracking little tapas bars that do a great variety of food. wish you could smell this it ap smells absolutely fantastic down here bear in mind it's only 11 40 in the morning so it's not even lunchtime yet one of our favorites Strava and we like that tentacion as well actually come out in the uh, church square where the market is so having had your lunch you can pick up some produce for the weekend fruit and veg local wine cheeses and so on so I hope you've enjoyed shopping with us in Arecife today bye for now